Welcome to The Witcher 3. Today I'll be showing you how to install mods the easy way. We'll be going step by step on how to set up and install The Witcher 3 Mod Manager so you'll be able to customize your game any way you want. So let's get started. The first thing we'll need is a fresh copy of The Witcher 3. So if you already have yours downloaded and you haven't modified any of the files before, we're going to go over to our Witcher 3 in Steam, right click it, go over to manage and then go to properties. From here, we're going to go to installed files and then we're just going to press verify integrity of game files. This will scan your game directory to see if you may have any missing files. And once it's complete, it will automatically restore any files that may be missing. So make sure you follow these initial steps. Having an unmodified Witcher 3 is going to be essential if you want these mods to work. Next, we'll be downloading a program called WinRAR. Now you're free to use any program that you want, but for this tutorial, we are using this to unzip our files. That being said, this is a totally free program. All you need to do is press the download WinRAR, and then on the next page, all you need to do is press that blue button again. You'll be brought to a new page, but you can ignore it. You just need to select the location that exe file will be downloaded to and then save. You should see your WinRAR download in the folder you selected, which by default will be your downloads folder. So now all you need to do is double click this exe and then we'll go ahead and install this. So we'll click on install and then on this next screen, you don't need to change anything. You just press OK. Once you click done, the program is successfully installed. Now we need to install the Witcher 3 mod manager. This is going to make modding the Witcher 3 extremely easy. So you just need to press this manual download button and then your download should start. Keep in mind, you may need to be signed into Nexus in order to get these downloads, but this is all totally free. Now the mod manager you just downloaded should look like this with the WinRAR icon, but if it doesn't, all you need to do is right click, go over to open with, and then select WinRAR archiver. If you don't see this in the options list, go down to choose another app. You should be able to find it in the window that pops open, and then you simply just press always. So now mods that you download through Nexus Mods should always appear like this. And when they have this icon, that means they are zipped files. In order to successfully use them, you need to unzip them. You can do this by simply right clicking, going down to that WinRAR icon, and then pressing extract files. This will bring up another window, and this is simply just telling you to select where you want it to extract to. By default, it's going to be in your downloads folder. So we'll just go ahead and press OK. It will extract the contents and then you should see a new folder with your unzipped mod manager. Now to make it easy, I like to put this folder directly into my game root folder just so everything is in one place. So again, we're going to right click on our Witcher 3 in Steam, go over to manage and then we're going to go over to browse local files. This should pop up a window with your Witcher 3 game directory. So we'll go ahead and drag this to our left side and your game directory should look similar to this. You see the red prelauncher.exe. If you don't see the .exe, that's fine. All you need to do is go up to these three little dots. And then once you click it, you go down to options. In this new pop up, you go over to view. And then if you go down a bit, you want to make sure this box is unchecked. Hide extensions for known file types. Once it is unchecked, just hit apply and then OK. Now all these file extensions such as the .exe or .dll should be visible to you. Now from here, we're just taking our mod manager folder and dragging it inside of our game directory. So you should see your folder successfully copied over. We're going to click into this folder and then we're going to launch the Witcher 3 mod manager. Once the mod manager pops up, we need to make sure our game path is correct. So we'll select settings, go over to configure and then go to change game path. A little dialog box will pop up and we essentially need to find this, the Witcher 3.exe. If you're not sure how to find this, again, we can go to Steam, right click, go over to manage and then browse local files. Once you're in your game directory, you just need to go into bin into x64 and then you find your witcher 3.exe. Once you've found this location, you just need to copy the address. So you can use control A to highlight everything and then press control C to actually copy it. And then in our game select window, we'll just paste that address and press enter. Once you select the witcher.3exe, you just go down to open and now your path should be set. We just have one more thing to download before we can start installing some mods. And this is called the script merger. So on the script merger mod page, we'll go ahead and manually install it. And once your mod is finished downloading, we will unzip the file by right clicking and going over to WinRAR and then extract files. And then once extracted, I'm again going to take this folder and place it into our gaming directory just to keep things in one place. Back in our mod manager, we're going to go over back to settings, configure again, 
then we need to configure our script merger path. So you'll just navigate to the folder you just installed and then you'll go ahead and select the Witcher script merger. Once selected, you just press open and now it's time to install some mods. I'll leave a link down to this video below because here I have linked all the mods I use in my own mod list. So we'll be installing a few of these so you can spend some time to browse around and find some mods to install. So once we have a downloaded mod, you don't need to extract these files. You simply just drag this into the mod manager directory. You'll be prompted with this message, which you can disable, but afterwards you should see your mod installed. Now you're easily able to turn it on and off at will, but one thing you need to remember after installing a few mods is to always run the script merger. Once you press this little button down here, another window will pop up. And then here, once again, we're gonna need to find our Witcher 3 directory. So we'll go down to these three little dots and then here you'll manually have to find it. So for me, mine's in the volume D, Steam library, common, and then the Witcher 3. Once you have the game folder selected, you can just press okay. If you found the correct directory, you should receive no errors. Now I'll go ahead and install a few other mods and show you how this script merger works. So now we have a couple other mods installed. So we're gonna go down to run the script merger. And from here, it's gonna detect some conflicts. You'll see a list of mods over here. And all you simply have to do is press this scripts button and then go down to create some merges. Once you select the button, it will start to compile all of these mods together. And you may see pop-ups like this. So if it says unsolved conflicts zero, that is a good thing. You'll need to press okay. And then from here, it's kind of like a summary of what it did. All the mods have been successfully merged. So you'll have to keep pressing continue and okay. And you can always choose to toggle this report off, which will save you a few clicks. But once the merge is successfully done, you should see nothing on the left side. And over here will be your newly merged mods. So as an example, we'll install another few mods. And remember, every time you add a new mod, you need to run the script merger. It'll automatically detect conflicts so you don't run into crashes. So select all the mods and then create merges. If you get prompted to overwrite, you're going to go ahead and press yes. So you'll continue to analyze the conflicts and pressing OK. And then at the end, you should have a few new merges. Now, depending on the mods that you pick, you may run into a situation where you may have to manually merge the mods yourself. This is something I myself haven't figured out, but I'll leave a link to a few tutorials you might find handy. If that's something you just don't want to deal with, kind of like myself, my own mod list where I don't have to do any of that will be linked in the description as well. So with our mods now installed, you need to make sure you do this as well. Once you press play, you'll have the red launcher pop up. Before you press play again, you need to select the settings icon and you need to enable mods. Then once you've done that, you're free to boot up the game. One more important thing to note, if you ever run into this window where you have some script errors, you may have mods that are incompatible with the current version of The Witcher 3. So from here, you're gonna have to do some troubleshooting. You'll need to experiment by turning a mod or two off and then rerunning the script merger until your game runs again. Not all mods are compatible with the next gen update. So you'll have to do some playing around. Hopefully you enjoyed this easy guide on how to install mods for The Witcher 3. If you want to see even more guides like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, we'll see ya.